day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Exactly. And, 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 and just like sin, there's no yeah. level of sin. Sin Come is sin. Now. The way to sin so, is death. Yeah, yeah. And, and they all have a, a, a way. They, they're weighed out equally. Come on now. You, you know, the thing that, that, that I'm, I'm looking at is that if, even in our generation where it seems to be prevalent, adultery and fornication, even if you preach against it, people don't get upset about it. You say, what? I mean, well, we don't really preach against it very much. But even when you do preach against it, they just kind of like ignore you. you hey, look. Well, that's, oh, no. that's because that's an area of their life that they're not willing to allow the word to deal with. Right. Just no different than anything else. Yeah. Uh, uh, sin, like I was saying, sin is sin. You yeah. know, whether you're talking about adultery, uh, uh, murder, uh, homosexuality, it's all equal. We should all feel the same toward all sin. Come on. Equal. Equal. And no different than your love for an individual to, to share the gospel with them and to know that Jesus Christ died for their sin. Come on. But see, the thing is that the state has not, the state does not say anything about, no, as a matter of fact, you would call hate speech if you start talking about people being effeminate. And, 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 I, and I bring this up because it's going to be happening. It's happening already. If you start preaching against that particular sin, you stand a chance of going to jail. Now, when we start preaching against adultery and, and fornication and drunkenness and reveling and such, Nobody said that we're going to go to jail behind that. They just ignore the heck out of it. But if you start preaching against feminism or, 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 or homosexuality, you stand a very good chance of going to jail. Because hey, look, of ever, 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 I guess I, I don't think I, I, I'm going to correct me if I'm wrong, guys. If you're preaching to hurt somebody because of their sexual orientation, if you talk about discriminating against somebody because of their sexual orientation, but you don't, you don't see anybody preaching when they talk about adultery is going to kill them, or stone them. And you know, I guarantee you, if you start saying that too, that you're going to get a reaction from a, an adulterer. You're going to get a reaction from a fornicator. If you try to about any type of discrimination, any type of, of, of uh, what they call social injustice towards somebody, I guarantee you, you'll get a response. So when you talk about preaching against homosexuality, and, and if you're talking about hurting them, yeah, you should go to jail. If you're talking about discriminating them, you should go, you know I mean, you should get it penalized or lose your job or whatever, because that's called discrimination. But if you're talking about the, the fornicator, adultery, homosexuality, and saying, look, God loves you guys. Just understand that what sin is, sin is. And God does not like that. And God wants to come into your heart to change that. I don't think you're gonna get you're gonna get nobody to put you in jail for that. They, well, where, the other they part to that, coming? Pastor, is um, you minister the gospel. Yes. You know, period. Yeah. And it's not don't minister correction. Come on, come because on. Because we're not to correct these people. Come we on. minister the gospel. Come on. And the Holy Spirit. Come on. Corrects the, the area. That's who deals with that person, not exactly. us. So sharing the gospel is good news. That's love. Yeah. And you share that, <laughs> there is no law. Come on. That's what the, the Bible question, says. So the question becomes how mm -hmm. is it that they were able to file suit against the cake maker or the, the justice of the peace that wouldn't marry an homosexual couple? That doesn't make sense to me. What, what, what the point they're saying is, though, is that now we're talking about discrimination again, right? Discrimination is if you have a business, if your business is supposed to serve the public, then, then all of a sudden you're going to say, I, remember like when they did it with the the blacks, where certain places wouldn't serve because of the color of your skin. Yeah, they had to go to the back door. Yeah. To be uh, served. Or, or, they, or they wouldn't even serve you. They wouldn't, yeah. I ain't got nothing to do with black people. So no, I ain't going to, I'm not going to sell you cake. You can't come to my bakery. You can't come to my store. You know? That that's called discrimination. That that I don't see no preaching in that at all. 
if somebody sit there and say, well, I don't want to serve, I don't want to, I don't want their business. You know, then the question is, do I have a right to not give business to people? But then again, guarantee you if that was a black person, they couldn't buy a cake either. Wouldn't, wouldn't you want them to be, go take them to court too? Because that used to happen, right? I, I know that we did, um, we did protests and stuff like that. But on purpose, I figured if I don't want to sell me some cake, I don't want to eat cake. But, 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 it's like, it's like, it's yeah, but it's it's about this fact is the fact of the <laughs> discrimination though. That's the point. Yeah, but that could go across across yeah. all areas. So if exactly. if you have a store and it's the only store where you can get food and they say, Well, we don't serve you. Yeah. And it's the only store around right. that's re in a in a reasonable uh, uh, distance from your your home, right? And you go uh, there, and they're constantly telling you you can't purchase anything from here. And here you got children at home that are hungry, or or even yourself. Come on, you're gonna have an issue with that, and that's not right. So you will protest, and you will bring charges so that they can't discriminate against you. Right. Hey, and, I, and I'm understanding that, but because we are going to face these issues soon, uh, if we are facing these issues, what happens when that trouble comes in? Who wants the cake? They you say, okay, we need to bake the cake, man, because it's discriminated for us or not. We want to get married. This cake is for our wedding. And you are the minister that's supposed to perform the, the, the service. Well, you can say, but, that, yeah, but now you're going to religious belief in the sense of this. I'm saying the cake is a, it's a, it's a, it's not a religious thing, right? It's a service. You providing a service. You open and saying you're a servant. If you sit there and say that I want to get married uh, to you, elder, can you marry me? And I ain't talking about me. I'm talking about if, if a homosexual couple wants to get married by you, you have the right to say, look, based on my belief, I don't see how I can marry. I can only marry a man and a woman. That's that's all I know. That's my belief, and that's what I'm standing on. So I'm. Just, this is my belief. You're asking me to do. I'm, my marrying you is not a service. That's something I'm doing as part of my ministry, and it's about marrying a man and a woman. That's my. That's what the scriptures tells me. If a man, this man married this woman, that's all in my scriptures. I don't have nothing that says. Uh, man and man or woman and woman. So you say you I have a I have a problem with that. Therefore I can't do that for you. Then you you they got the justice of peace they can go to, right? They can go to court. They can go to the courthouse and get somebody to marry them. They can't you can't force somebody to perform a religious ceremony uh now, if you don't want if, to do it. If your business if a is business. is yeah to marry folks, then yes. Yeah. Like over in, in Vegas. Yeah. They have these places the and that is their product. Yeah. Is a marriage. Yeah. Then yes, they can be there can be charges brought up against for uh discrimination. Discrimination, right. When you but come to if, a church. If yeah. you are a minister who is licensed to perform a marriage it is not required for you to just do that. You do that on your own volition. Yeah. You do that when you want to do it. And if you feel like doing it, when you feel like doing it. Right. And because like I got some people got where they, they're not going to minister a wedding, officiate a wedding until they go through some classes. Yeah. And you know, so if the classes doesn't line up with what you, you're teaching, then you can go say, through them classes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if that's what you want to do to get married, right? You know, but uh, I, I, I see your point, though, El. We come full circle because if we look back at the scripture again, it says, "Revelers, drunkards, murderers, liars, and feminists, as such as were some of you." Right. So the the scriptures address the things that we, as a quote unquote buyer believers. Adhere to right, and when we're gonna sing or sing it out something, yeah, but, but this, well, this well, is the thing you go back to the parable, the sower sows a word. You're not specifically 
point poking your finger in the ground and putting a seed in that good ground. You're sowing. Come on now. This gospel Come on. at will. You yeah. don't care where it falls. Come on. You are just spreading the gospel. And check this out. This is something that was in my heart. There is more gospel than there is grain. Come on. Because I mean, there, there, you ain't gonna run out of of this seed. Come on. So you just spread the seed, whether it fall on on, 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 on stony ground. Come on. You know the ground that's gonna throw grow up uh, thorns. You know. <laughs> Whether the enemy is coming to get it or not, because just like the ravens in the air, you sow that seed, they gonna get what they gonna get. But some of that seed is gonna germinate and produce some fruit. Yes. And that fruit, some 30, some 60, some 100 fold are believers. Come on, come on now. That receive the gospel. I, 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 and, and I really am, you know, I am asking these questions for yeah. A person, not only. Uh, so we will consent that it is the gospel, it is the good news. Yes. And whatever it addresses in that area, these things should bring quote unquote good things or great good experiences into the people's lives that can adhere to them, right? Right. Amen. But you know what, Elder? The entire Bible is the good yeah. news. It's just the Old Testament. It's just hidden in types and shadows. Yes, sir. And so we, who are seasoned, who are sharing the seed, we need to extrapolate that and show them the good news hidden yeah. in the Old Testament. We That's shouldn't just be me. busting out Old Testament scriptures to to non-believers or babes in Christ without extrapolating and pointing Come out on. how it relates to the gospel. It should always be about Christ and him crucified. Mm. And, and that, to, that to the end that we do re restore it to the Father. And I, but what, what I want to be able to do is when I'm teaching or preaching and stuff, I want to show, see if the question comes up, how it is that it is good for them. Which, now, if, 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 if the law says that feminism is a good thing, <laughs> the scripture says it's not, or the scripture say it, it's not a good thing. I want to be able to say, how is this good in the sight of God when it's not good in the sight of law? Oh, but see, you're not, you're not there to endorse sin, right? Because you, you, how can you say that about adultery? You you're, gonna say how, you, you're not going to say that about adultery either, right? You're going to go talk about the gospel. You're going to talk about Jesus. And the fact is that such were some of you. Look what he did to me. You know, remember that old song? I like that old song. Look what the Lord has done. <laughs> He healed my body, he healed my mind. He saved me just in time. Yep. You ever heard that song before? No? Nope. Oh, yeah, definitely. I, I, I haven't. Heard it before. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah, heard, heard it before, right? right? No, I ain't heard it. And know. if I did, I'm sure it didn't sound like that. No, I'm, just, I'm just kidding. It's precious, I'm sick. <laughs> so, come on, Pastor Jay, let's do it. I want to praise him, man. I like it though. Hey, look, my friend, you know, I hold my mule. How about the guy that said, hold my mule? Huh? He yeah, was sitting there and said, I, I got to praise him. I got to praise John. him. Right? I like that other song. What? I got to praise. I got to. Nope. Nah, 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 nah. That's cozy. I got you know that one, right? Nah, nah, I come to praise his name. Come on now. What you, <laughs> my, point, my point is, if you, you're talking about the fact that it's not endorsing any of the behaviors that was on that list. Your part is sitting there saying, look what he can do to change me from getting me off that list. Right? Yeah, yeah I, I need you to understand because I'll be in that regard. Because there's one thing that I, and I, I mean, it's maybe a personal note of mine. I don't need to go around telling people you need to stop sinning because God don't want you to sin. Yeah, you need I to think there's a downside to sin, and we need to be able to articulate that. Sin kills people. <laughs> right. and, 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 and if we're able to articulate how that kills people, it ends up in somebody dying or something dying. Yeah. And if we're able to say that, then I think it's a little bit more palatable to the people that were standing for me. Exactly. But what do we say concerning feminism and any of the other sins that are outlined in those, in those scriptures? that would entice them to turn away from you. Right. So a lot of times, you know, you say almost like you're getting a beat, but I don't know why I'm getting one. Oh, you call that sin, but why is it sin? Well, I love this person. Why can't I have love with this person? I mean, that's a good question. 
Well, I mean, let, 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 right now, look, that's the whole point of saying is I'm trying to invite the men to the body first. You sitting there, cause you don't do the same thing with the adulterer or the fornicator. Oh, they, yeah. they, you, you'll say, well, you know, you, why, you can't, you got to stop fornicating. Well, you got to sit there and say, I need you to come and get receive Jesus. And, and he's the only one that can get you saved anyway. All I can do is tell you what the scripture said about salvation, but he's the one that brings it up, right? He's the one that makes it happen. One man plants, one man water, but it's God that gives the increase, Amen. right? Amen. So all you're trying to do is I'm trying to plant, I'm trying to do what that scripture was talking about. And that, that stony ground is, you know, brother asked when they get that heart and heart. Those are the ones that didn't show up at church. Those are the ones that you, you used to preach out in the street and you start talking and they were like, I don't want to hear that. I don't hear about no gospel. I don't believe in Jesus. I don't believe in God. But you said, well, I understand that. But I tell you what, I do. And I'm telling you, it's just something about what he has done for my life that I want to share with you. All my actions toward them what makes a difference. You're preaching the gospel either through action or through words. But you're Pastor, preaching. Can I say this? Yeah. I believe that they're all in the church. Oh, they're in the church too, really? I but no, no, I'm talking about all the different grounds, all okay. the different words that's being sown. I think they're, they're in, right. there's people inside that Amen. congregation yes, sir. that immediately the word is stolen from Satan. Yes, sir. And some are stony ground yes, sir. in the church, and yeah. some are uh, grounds that, that uh, the cares of this world yeah. choke away. I yeah. think I think they're they're in the church and they're in the street. Yeah. I think that that it applies all the way around. Well, you I know what? You got to grow, right? How can I, I grow? I think that it it also shows the growth of a Christian. Yeah. You start off not getting the word because Satan is stealing. Yes, yeah, sir. And then you got some where the word takes root, but it just dies because it it doesn't the the root isn't deep enough to sustain yes, the sir. word. Come on, Come on. And then there's those that the word takes root and you go, you know, you get it, you're happy and you go forth and you live your life. And next by next Sunday, the cares of this world has choked it out. Come on now. Hey, and look, then there's out those out that. The door. <laughs> or choking it while they're in there because they may have an issue they're thinking about while they're in service. Yes. Which yes. you have done yourself, right? Yeah. So I, I think it applies on, 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 in, you know, in different different aspects of a Christian life. Yeah. Well, you know. unforgiveness is, a, I think, is a stony ground, right? Because somebody yes. have unforgiveness. They, that's a stony ground for them. Their heart is hard, yeah. I mean, yeah. towards something. Or like you said, like Elder was talking about, talking about the effeminate or homosexuality. When yeah. he hears something about preaching the gospel and loving them and embracing oh, yeah. them, he you may have a reject. hard heart on that area. Yes. Amen. You know? And, and, and he don't catch it such with some of you. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. And, and, and when you're talking to somebody that's quote unquote in love with somebody else, you need to be the same sex. How do you tell them? How do you make the connection between sin and that? We well, that we mean connection. I don't, I'm I'm trying to say I'm trying to make the connection between them and Jesus. How to make a connection between the gospel, how to make a connection between the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. That's on the connection I'm trying to focus on. Yeah, because their Are sin them? has already been dealt with. Come on, bro. So we're Ooh. not we're not there for their sin. We're there Ooh. for their soul, brother. So so that love it surpasses all that. You know, kind of kind of gives me to that. We, we preach a lot of love, love, love. But if you if you if, if sin didn't have an impact, then Jesus died for nothing. I mean, no, it did we're, have we're, an impact. We're, we're kind of preaching an arbitrary, not an arbitrary, but an elusive concept. That's really what is sinful about what they're doing. How does this particular thing lead to death? How can, are we able to articulate that? I mean, I can tell you. Well, how the can. articulation is there is one sin Come on. that will bring you to eternal death, Woo. and that is denying Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. That well, the is Holy the Spirit, right? only. The Holy yes, that's yeah. the only sin that is is left. Well, my, so, question, my question how, how's it's he recognizing how's he recognize upside brother how's how are you connecting the fornicate and adulterer there how, how are you doing that one you tell them 
<laughs> you tell them it's like fornication is a sin. The, the, the result of this is the, the, the wages of sin is death. And so, you can trace those things through. So, what, I don't understand. But this what, is the I don't understand. What's the difference between the two ministries? Well, well let, me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me. Brother Jackson let me got something. You know, um, a lot of times when we talk about some of these things, uh, those are, I think, uh, what I call traditional uh, errors in our ways, you know. Right. But there are things that, that are not discussed and uh, don't aren't brought up in church, and, uh, and those things are still there. Yeah. Uh, and what we do is, uh, as, like, you know, people have brought the word to us, we allow God, I think, over time, to you know work on our hearts uh -huh. and we ask forgiveness for those things um and and that's the way i kind of see it the thing is is I, I i am not wise enough to handle the sin in somebody else's life you know uh, and and and, ex and explain to them other than as brother addison was saying that this is what the scripture says regarding the unforgivable sin. Now, the rest of us, every day, Ooh. we have a renewing of our mind. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Because we are in the flesh. Yeah. Jesus, he, he was the only one ever Come on, bro. and forever will be that was able to overcome what was going on in the flesh. The only one. The oh. rest of us, we have to die daily. Daily. We 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 mess up daily. As a matter of fact, once we click off on this this situation here and walk out the door, or even <laughs> if, or take a few steps, boom, we we've already made some errors. Um, there are things that there are there are things that happen in our life and thoughts that happen with each of us. We wouldn't even recognize as sin if, if the revelation of the spirit didn't Ooh. didn't show it. Yeah. So. That's kind of how I look at it, and, and I believe me. See, uh, some of us here, like you know, I have people that are gay in my family. You know what? I have to deal with that, but I don't. I I demonstrate uh, my people? belief. Yeah. I I speak. I pray. They know where where I'm coming from, and I let God work on that. I let yeah. it, check it out. I got sin in in my life, right? Come on, man. Come on. <laughs> And and so what do I do? I get on my knees. I pray. I ask for forgiveness. I'm um, recognizing that um, I have error, you know. Oh, and you got and grace that, and mercy. Everything, and that's and what's I, gonna and, give him. And if it wasn't for that grace, exactly, and that mercy, um, again, when we put it all in that hope. So I, I guess what I, I'm going to say, um, Elder. And, and I'm not I'm not well with articulating things is that um we just let the spirit work on all of us you know yes. I, I wouldn't try to slice and dice and 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 split hairs because there are so many situations and circumstances you know I mean we can talk about ethics and and all kinds of stuff where sin can manifest itself and that's where uh, Satan in his subtle ways, uh, you know, I think in the garden was able to to deceive Eve and then Adam, of course, to come to it as, as, as well, you know, having got the instruction. Yes. And then other uh, and then otherwise we'll all find ourselves doing the same thing, trying to figure yeah. this thing out in our earthly mind rather than letting just the spirit um, uh, work in all of us right. and just continue to yeah again you know speak the gospel as best as we can given those opportunities and what i love about it is even though you know like some of you here man i love listening to y'all because man you guys just help me all the time uh uh i, I you know i'm a little jealous sometimes because i can't speak the word like you guys do but then the spirit tells me don't worry about it don't worry you about know it. You, you 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 can fumble all over it Come on, and as man. long as you you they they feel that spirit because that spirit has a way of, of yes of permeating and, and getting into an individual and then they themselves that relationship that they have not the relationship that they have with me as a homosexual or or, or a lesbian or whatever it ain't that situation it's the, the their relationship with god the father that is important yes. and what i might see on the surface i most likely totally misunderstand exactly. anyway you know what's funny is that, that we will include those scriptures as being a part of the gospel 
but we don't really have an effect on what those churches really need, or how they actually, you know, need to death, or how they are death. You know, you know what I'm saying? So, and, and that has become a difficulty because we we live in a in an age where the let me ask you this. Hold on for a second. Hold on for a second. Hold on for a second because I'm gonna forget this. Okay, let's just take um. Okay, let's 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 put these in the same because Brother Addison mentioned it. Sin is sin, but if we take homosexual homosexuality, and let's just take lying. Come on now. Come okay. on. Now, uh, a person's gonna in some way, shape, or form. Um, we're gonna still continue to lie. Am I right? Between now and the time we die, <laughs> which means hey, we still sinning. Uh, somebody that's a homosexual, and I'm not trying to justify this uh, homosexual, don't get me wrong, but that is in them because of the corruption that's in us, right? And some of us have corruption in different kinds of ways, right? Different kinds so of ways. for me, and, and maybe you guys can help me, but when a person gets that relationship with Christ Jesus and they ask to be worked on that, because see, that, that may not come out of them. There are things in me that won't come out of me. But what I do is I die to it. You know what I'm saying? I die to those things for the glory of the Father. And so I, I, I guess, Elder, you know, in, in trying to uh, answer that is it's still in us. But we have to die to it every day. Every day. I, they have to die to it. <laughs> Most of our sins are associated with our flesh. And the further away from that we move, the less sin we commit, or uh, less we traffic in anyway. Uh, but the thing is that I, I guess no, it's covered. That See, that's have. still it, it's still in us. That stuff is covered by the blood of Jesus. Right yeah. now, it doesn't mean that we can do what we want to do in spite of that. Again, it, it says, "Hey, you know, God forbid." Right? But I guess what I'm saying is, is, is we, we otherwise we'll push those individuals away who well, God will. Heart. Yes. You know, and, and that, that that becomes the issue. You don't want to push somebody away that's trying to come to the Lord, not the Lord, but you also don't want somebody to die because of something that we should have warned them about. So the question becomes, I, I think, is if we had to blanket or just say what sin was, what would be the definition? Yeah, but I'm, 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 I'm probably out there. I'm probably out there before you go any further. I'm still having an issue or uh, uh, confusion of the other sins that you're going to die with if you don't change. Well, I, 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 let me say something about that. Uh, you know, I've been listening to this conversation. Uh, there, there are certain things I think that we cannot afford to get wrong and that we need to be clear on when it comes down to uh, what Jesus has actually accomplished for the believer. Now listen, uh, let me get my book because I need it now. Uh, a text from mine, for example, Romans chapter 8, verse number Verse number nine. And in, in verse number nine, you know, the context is that he, he's trying to help you understand what has happened in Roman chapter five, six, and seven. He's pretty much concluding uh, how God has solved this problem of sin that dwelleth in me. And that's the statement that Paul makes in Romans 7, 17, he said, Now then, it is no more I that do it, but sin that dwelleth in me. This is, the, this is the issue all of us have to live with. We have to deal with it. But if you walk away from, this, from, from Romans with a misunderstanding, you could very well put yourself in a position where you never experienced the victory and deliverance that Christ was actually sent. Begin. Yes, sir. And I choose. You know, this this is a very delicate issue, and few people, I think, have 
have trolled through it and, and, and clawed through it and cried and prayed through it and says, I don't get it because you, 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 what you're looking for is the results that are documented in the scripture and not your experience. Yeah. Unless you experience to agree with the scripture. Mm. So 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 you got a problem with sin that dwells in you. All of us do. But but that statement does not mean I I think we misinterpret this statement. So we go back over to chapter eight, verse nine, he says this, but ye are not in the flesh, but in the spirit.